Good morning, everybody. I'm cutting my hair. I'm feeling a lot of feelings. I'm really emotional right now. I feel really excited because I'm gonna have a fresh new look that hopefully will look really good. I tried a wig recently and a lot of you guys told me I should do it. Most of you, I'd say like 95% of you told me to do it, so I'm trusting in you. Two, I'm terrified because I've never dyed or cut my hair really short. I've never had a major hair transformation in my life. Um, I started modeling at 16 since then I was under contract and I had to keep my hair around the same color like a darker blonde tone and around this length So this is gonna be a big change for me and I am terrified I had nightmares this morning that the haircut went horribly wrong and it was really bad But I couldn't tell the hairdresser that I hated it because I can never tell a hairdresser when I don't really like something I feel too bad um Babe, how do you feel? This is the last time you're gonna see this hair. I don't know. You don't know? Let's see. Do you wanna stroke it? Sometimes I just wanna get to touch it. Do you want me to bring it home for you? No. Oh look, they're having a funeral for my hair. Today marks the end of an era. Era. After all the years of clickbait, misleading titles, and even wigs sorry, sorry, sorry. to only be let down with the subtle changes to her hair. Lighter highlights in a three inch trim is scary. Finally, at almost 30 years old. I'm finally turning 30 in three and a half months so you can finally say I'm almost 30. Although you've been saying it for five years now. Despite being terrified and her boyfriend saying she should keep it long. Don't cut it. Not, not so loud, more whisper. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. I'm doing it. Babe. Her first big change to her hair is happening. I'm excited guys. You know I'm over my hair. I'm over my long hair. I never want to do it. It's heavy. It's hot. I always just put it up in a ponytail. You guys are sick of the ponytail. I'm sick of the ponytail. I'm ready for a fresh new change. I'm talking so fast because I'm so nervous. <laughs> One of the things I'm most nervous for is to show you because you're the only one that's like, mm, I don't know. It's gonna grow fast anyways. I can put in extensions, but I'm hoping I'll, you'll be like, oh, you look so good. I love you. Marry me now. Let's go sign. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> What? Take like millions video of your long hair. Don't fast forward through this video too. It's not clickbait. It's happening. It's gonna be emotional. I hope I don't cry when she cuts my hair. You have reached your destination on the right hand side. Oh my god, is that just literally the sound of a blow dryer? <laughs> okay, that's freaky. Okay, say goodbye. Bye here. No, to me. <laughs> Hello. So let's start with the length then. Okay, we're gonna cut it first. Yep. Yeah. A little bit of it off at first, just because there's no use in dying. Yeah, I left it. Forgetting rid of it. Should I? Could I donate it? Do you what do you think? How do you wear your hair every day? Do you style it? No, in a ponytail. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so we'll make sure that you still have one though. <laughs> yeah. Can I introduce absolutely. you? Absolutely. Guys, this is Amanda. Hi. I'm at Twin Image Salon, and she is doing my transformation today. Actually, thank you so much for coming in. No it's a public holiday, and she came in just for me. I'm glad to do it. It'll be fun. Ready? Can I cut? Some, can I cut? Some? You want to cut it? Yeah. Give me my scissors. Let me just make sure that I'm gonna leave enough. Okay. Just so okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Go. Right here. Anywhere you want. Doesn't matter. You can do it. <laughs> All right. 
right. And that's where it's gonna sit. I just have to fix it up. Yep. Oh my god. Right? Oh my god. Yeah. So that's pretty much what Oh my god, this is the only I can't do this. It's already done. <laughs> yeah. This is actually so liberating now. Right? Like, it's Trust just no me. more heaviness. And it's gonna naturally dry a lot better um, just because it was so heavy. So this is pretty much gonna be your length. I'm just gonna straighten you up and dye all of your hair. That was so fast. I literally just got in here and you're like, all right, boom. I didn't even have time to think. See, that's, that's why I did it. That's so good. Because I was like, oh God, am I doing this? God, it looks so light in this camera. Oh, I know. Because it is light. The bleach is on, doing its thing. We're just waiting for it to hit the right color. Then we're gonna wash it out, tone it, and then do the cut. This is the first reveal. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so orange. It looks like vitamin C. <laughs> oh yeah, right? Thank you. You don't think it's a little bit too orange? No. No? Toning. Can you see it? Yep. For a second, I thought I had no hair. Because <laughs> this looks like my skin color right here. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like my scalp. Oh. Jump up. Yeah, because you cut off like cut another, off another inch or two. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> Whoa, it's so white, babe. <gasps> yeah, it's like the wig. It's whiter than I expected. It's, it's not a wig this time. It's refreshing. Feel good? Yeah, I feel, I feel like good and fresh. And it's not heavy and... It's good. I don't know, I'm, I like it. Are you sure? Let's go. Uh, and look at my cute ponytail. Little ponytail. Hey, so it's been a couple of days and I have gone through a few phases and I think the best way I can explain it is it's sort of like breaking up with a long-term boyfriend and finding someone new. That is how I feel. <laughs> what? I'm talking about my hair. So phase one, I was super, super happy, super excited. Of course, the color and the cut was exactly what I wanted. Um, Amanda did an amazing job. I was super happy. I loved it. I was ready for this fresh new start. And then when I came home at night, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. Am I doing the right? Did I do the right thing? I really wanted to have roots grow out. I felt like I really needed the contrast there. And then by the morning time, I was like full on breakdown. Like oh, I made a mistake. I don't, I shouldn't have done that. I loved my old hair. It was good to me. Why did I do that? And I emailed Amanda and I was like, can I come in? Can you um, darken the roots a bit to give it some contrast maybe or like darken it a bit? And then by the afternoon, I calmed down and I was like, no, I made the right decision. I started taking some selfies and you guys probably if you see my Instagram, you'll know that I'm not really active on there lately. I never, I don't even remember the last time I posted a selfie. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling my look. I felt super uninspired. And when I started taking selfies again, I was like, Ooh. I felt edgier and refreshed and super excited. Amanda actually wrote me back and she was like, you know what, your hair is gonna, it's, it's kind of strong at first, but when you wash it, it's gonna soften a bit. Your roots are gonna go grow in pretty fast. If we darken them, you're gonna have three colors at the top because maybe I won't match it exactly to your natural. So that's gonna look a bit weird when it grows out. And I was like, yeah, you know what, it's good. I'm gonna embrace this look because it, it actually looks fine. I think it's just, I, I just wasn't used to it. I wasn't sure. But I'm all good now. My boyfriend thinks I look like Legolas, Legolas, I, I forget how you say his name from Lord of the Rings. 
or he said I look like a Russian spy or a 90 year old grandma which honestly I'm okay with all three of those Russian girls are drop-dead gorgeous and they're super fashionable I love elves they remind me of Christmas they're probably my top three favorite things next to food and grandmas love grandmas they're hilarious they have a lot of wisdom to pass you I love being around old people in general and we have a little fun with it you know sometimes we role play he shoots a little arrow a little from the side and I'm like Privet, want to die. and uh, I sort of told the Russians watching me that was a horrible accent you don't sound like that at all yeah it's, it's making in the least sexual way too today I'm wearing purple eyeshadow I've got little cat wings on my makeup spicy my outfits rainbow I feel like it's quite bold make some other bold fashion choices. I just want to thank Amanda again. She came in on her holiday to do my hair. She thought it would be a fun project and she got super involved. She was so nice to me. She did a really great job. It was everything I wanted. She worked super quickly. I'm very, very happy with the results and happy with everything she did. I will link her below. If you're in the Toronto area and you want to check her out, she is a lovely person and does really great work. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to pick up the next video from here. I'm going home to see my family, so you're going to see their reactions to my hair. But yesterday I wore it in a cute little pony. Look at that little ponytail, it's so cute. I can't wait to wear like pigtails and experiment with other cute short hairstyles that I've never tried before. Yeah, I'm excited for this this new thing in my life. I feel refreshed. I think I've already said this so many times. Okay, I should just go. All right, I will see you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.